Welcome to day 13 of 30 days of AL and today we are going to look at download from stream. It's a continuation from the upload from stream that we just looked a few days ago and because the download from stream sends a file from the server computer to the client computer. The client computer is the computer that is running the Windows client or the computer that is running the browser that accesses the web client. Our aim today is to export this blob that we created here, not the blob, but a media, the city picture media. This is our aim. We just want to export the value from the stream. That's why we are downloading it from the stream. So I have declared an in-stream and out-stream attempt blob that will help us in uh, initializing the in-stream and out-stream and the file name. So the first, uh, the first step here is to initialize the out-stream via the temp blob. So what does this do? So when you create an out-stream, it creates an out-stream object with default encoding, with default encoding for the temp blob. This enables you to write data to the temp blob. Now, it has default encoding for this uh, particular temp blob and we can write data to the temp blob. And after initializing our outstream with the temp blob, we need now to call um, the city picture and export the stream. So here, it exports the current media objects such as the JPEG image that is used on record to an outstream object. So the outstream object can be created from a blob file, a file, or from the .NET framework interoperability object. In the record, the media is referenced in a media data type field. So here we just need to pass the outstream. So we'll now be able Okay, we have initialized and we can be able to write to the temp blob. So the temp blob will now be containing the value of this particular city picture. So the temp blob again, now we need to create an in stream for the in stream for that. Remember now, this temp blob currently contains this out stream. So when we create an in stream, it will transfer the value of uh, this particular outstream to the instream. It is similar to saying copy stream, uh, outstream, instream, outstream, and then instream. So it's similar to doing that when you now create an instream for that particular template. So now we just need now to go to our function, now download from stream, and it is receiving at some different variables. The first one is the instream that we passed from the temp blob. So most of these variables were used for the on-prem version of Dynamics uh, 2018, especially 2018. And so most of them will be blank. They have not prob uh, updated this uh, method because I think the latest should not be having so many variables that are not being used because most of them are being determined by the browser, like the dialog title, uh, the two folder can be selected then there is the two filter not so important and but now the value that is important since we know that this uh, file that we are expecting is a jpeg okay it's an image we can uh, specify it as a jpg it doesn't mean that you can't have any other file you can even have a png uh, as your file as your servers you can be able to select whichever um extension that you want for that particular file and at this point we are done with our download from stream because it will download from this in stream to this particular file and i'll compile and run day 13 so that we can be able to see our city picture so we have now published our application and i am at the actions of the 30 days of al page so we have a method of day 13 that has an icon of downloading. And when I click on day 13, day 13, you can see now the city.jpg is 
coming as a download so when i click on save i can be able to open it and preview the image that i have just downloaded and that's it for this video i will leave you with this beautiful image of nairobi city i will see you in day 14 of 30 days of al see you there if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one